Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the Algebra 1 concept of recursive sequences, specifically how we can write them given information, and we'll do it in 5 minutes or less. So we've got two different re sequences here that I'm going to show us side by side. So the arithmetic sequence is when the numbers are growing. Uh, just with basic arithmetic, like if we see we've got the third, fourth, fifth, and sixth numbers in the sequence, we can eyeball it and say, all right, it looks like a plus five. So there's a few different ways that we can do this, right? We can say, well, this is our basic formula. So a to the n is going to equal a n minus one. And then what's the difference, right? How is it doing? What's growing by five? Plus five. Now, the only difference is a to the zero we need to find that. So we could just kind of go backwards here, right, and say that's 20. A to the 1 is going to be 15. So it starts at 10. All right, so we could write it this way. Uh, A to the 0 is the one that kind of breaks the rules. So you have to kind of give that one right there. So that's one way that we could write this. Just find that pattern. That difference right there, that's what that D stands for, is the plus the difference. It's a plus 5. Or we could take a look at it and say, you know what? If we were to graph this, guess what we would get? A line, because this is linear, right? If you were to say your number in the sequence, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, is in the x position, and then the actual values are in the y position, you could graph them, and you would get a line, which means we know what that looks like as well. All right, we know the slope-intercept form. So you could say, all right, so what's my slope? Remember, my slope is your change in y over the change in x. Well, how is my y changing? Well, every time it's moving up 1x, right, it's actually moving 5y. So it's a plus 5 over plus 1. So really, your m equals just 5, OK? And then your B member is your y-intercept when x is 0. Well, we've, we found that. That's the starting position. So we could also say a to the n equals, and then your 5x, right? So your 5a, and then your plus, what is our y-intercept? It's that 10, right? Uh, so we could uh, say we could. Instead of that a, we put that n because that's going to be the nth term. So let's just take 4 for both of these, OK? Just to double check here. So this first one. So a to the 4 equals a to the 4 minus 1 plus 5. Uh, a to the 4 minus 1 is a to the 3rd, which is 25. So that equals 25 plus 5, which equals 30. OK, we're good. What about this one? a to the 4 equals, and then we've got that 5 times the fourth, right? So that's going to be 5 times the 4, because we're multiplying these two, uh, plus 10. So that equals 20 plus 10, so we're good. So I'll make this a little bit clearer right here. It's 5 times n plus 10. It's not a sub n. So these are the two different ways that we could write the arithmetic. Now, when we are looking at our Geometric, a little bit different. You notice we've got a different formula here. We still need to find the a to the 0. We still need the n to be whole numbers greater than 1, just like we did over here. So we need to say a to the n. Then we're looking for what is our rate. This r is the rate. Well, how are we getting from 100 to 50? Well, you could uh, multiply by 1 half, or you could divide by 2. Yep, you can multiply by 1 half here. You can multiply by 1 half. We're assuming that these are the first four terms in the sequence. They didn't tell us differently. So this one's a little bit more straightforward, right? We would say a to the n equals, and then we would say our rate. So 1 half times a to the n minus 1. We do need to call out that uh, a, this first position right there, it's going to be a little bit different. So a to the 0 equals 100. And that's how you can write recursive sequences.